What is crowdsourcing? Let's start right from the beginning. Crowdsourcing was coined in May 2006 when Jeff Howe wrote an article for Wired magazine called The Rise of Crowdsourcing. Since then, Jeff has become the king of crowdsourcing. His definition? Crowdsourcing is the act of taking a job traditionally performed by a designated employee and outsourcing it to an undefined, generally large group of people in the form of an open call. Whilst this may sound confusing, it's not. Wikipedia is one of the earliest examples of crowdsourcing, although through its own success, its accuracy often comes into question. Apparently, David Beckham was a Chinese goalkeeper in the 18th century, and Richard Gere appears on the back of the Australian $10 note dressed as a woman. X Factor is another example. The contestants and the scripted misfits and oddballs on the show are the crowd, and the panel of makeup and high waist trousers that are the judges manage the crowd. Again, this form of crowdsourcing might fail. Can it last over time, given only one singer makes it? So what's the trick to nailing crowdsourcing? It's probably managed, focused crowds. Here's an example. Say hi to Zach. Zach's a freelancer and digs the freedom it gives him. But sometimes poor Zach doesn't get taken seriously enough by some of the bigger, swankier clients who end up giving loads of cash to corporate companies like Walter here. Just because he's bigger, poor Zach. He knows he could do a better job, but needs a way of getting noticed. Then, Zach had a great idea. An idea so neat he knew it would change the world of freelancing forever. In essence, Zach's idea was pretty simple. One, build and unify a crowd of TikTok freelancers. Two, give them a web platform. Three, manage and market the crowd. Four, take on Goliath. So now Zach and his co-freelancer buddies are managing their crowd and they can finally take on big old Walter over there. In fact, as you can see, Zach and co are quicker, more diverse and cheaper than Walter, which equals more happy clients. Walter's now struggling to keep up with Zach. Walter's got huge overhead so he keeps getting bogged down, whilst Zach and co can grow and grow and grow. In fact, they could become the largest group of managed freelancers in the world, so sinking Walter. Well done, Zach. You can take a bow, because you've not only freed the freelancers and made them richer, but you've also made more smiley clients. Oh, and slayed another Goliath. What is crowdsourcing to you? Come and have your say at whatiscrowdsourcing.com.